Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel called Forbidden Science. Please check the description to know more about the channel. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof of the small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Several hundred dilapidated megaliths and structures have already been found in the Urals, and the old lens quarry fits in too well with the legacy of old civilizations. Officially, Talco Magnesite was mined here. All quarries show traces of excavation at the bottom, at the old lens, the bottom is evenly tiled. All over the world, quarries are built with a ramp to take out tons of soil, the old lens is built with steps. The official theory says that a certain engineer came up with the technology to cut the bricks of rock right in the quarry. But talco magnesite is mined in the form of powder, and the equipment in the quarry is not designed for cutting bricks. Since 1974, the quarry was mothballed, and until 2017 regularly pumped out the water that filled it. But, as soon as in the early 2010s people began to take an active interest in the quarry and put its photos on the internet, the pump suddenly failed and sunk the quarry. For a long time, now I have been thinking that modern man and 18th to 19th century man are very different creatures. Modern man is more like a hybrid of that man with some kind of primitive creature, maybe an ape. Previously, people created, read books, poetry, went to the theater, had beautiful cities, houses with stucco and columns, courtyards decorated with fountains and statues. Now people live in concrete chicken coops with tires in their yards, they don't read books, and their entertainment is TV, YouTube, games, and booze. The worst thing is that they are happy with everything, some people are so used to it that they don't even want to hear that it is time to change something in their lives. People themselves have become more like talking monkeys in their pants. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. All before the advent of DNA analyses, historians claimed that all elongated skulls were obtained by humans through artificial deformation. Modern studies of the genome of the Paracasin skulls disagree with this. The skulls are a quarter the volume and 60% heavier than normal human skulls. The structure also differs. Paracas skulls have one parietal surface, while human skulls have two. The director of the Paracas Museum of History sent five samples of hair, skin, teeth and skull pieces for genetic analysis, and it turned out that the mitochondrial DNA, which is inherited from the mother, with an unknown mutation that does not occur in humans, primates, or any other animals. Simply put, this is an entirely new humanoid creature, a far cry from sentient man, Neanderthal man, or Denisovian man. I do not know if these people will find a place in the genealogical tree of modern man, but the skulls from Paracas are not going to fit into the theory of linear evolution. New York City, above and below ground, 1913. At a time when for most people, a camera was something absolutely fantastic, the builders built this fork underground. Look how the adults and children pose, although photographing the street. 
Of course, this is not a sower, and the people themselves are photographed for the memory in this tunnel. Because they themselves are shocked by the discovery. What brickwork? How precisely the radii and angles are aligned and observed. Such precision is necessary for a sower. Yep. A large root system has been discovered under Devil's Tower in Wyoming. A huge and startling discovery was made at Devil's Tower in Wyoming. Scientists from the Wyoming State Parks Department were conducting photographic seismic readings under the tower when they discovered an incredibly large fossilized root system under the tower. The Parks Department released a statement saying, We discovered what looks like a giant root system flowing from the base of Devil's Tower. The root system has been measured to a depth of 6.5 kilometers and a width of about 13 kilometers. We are currently conducting research and tests to confirm that it is indeed a root system and not a coincidence. This discovery is on the verge of rewriting history and science as we know it. The official version of the origin of Bakel is that the lake is of tectonic origin. It is the deepest on Earth. But studies have revealed a number of structures which could not have been explored by other means before. It was possible to find out that the southern part of the lake has a rather strange relief. The bottom of the depression goes down relatively flat along the eastern shores and very steep along the western shores. Against the background of these studies, we can assume that the slopes of the depressions are completely unnatural and look more like a quarry excavation. The Giants in the Paintings In this picture, you can clearly see people of different sizes and noticeably different sizes, but do not think that these are children. If you zoom in on these little people, their faces are quite adult and even vary. There are a lot of paintings of people of different sizes, it's amazing, but it seems that in the Middle Ages, that was the order of the day, and no one was surprised. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.